Let's look at some examples using our string of eighth notes. Let's use two groups of six so we can make two measures of rhythm. We can create various durations by tying different notes together. Then we can notate the rhythms in simple triple or compound duple meter using our beaming and tying rules. We can see which eighth notes belong to the same beat by bracketing them together. Let's do simple triple meter first, three beats of two eighth notes each. Since the first two eighth notes are tied together and belong to the same beat, we do not tie them. We combine them into a single note value, a quarter note. We use the same notation for the second beat. The third beat has two eighth notes that are not tied together, but we show they belong to the same beat by beaming them together. In the second measure, the first beat has two eighth notes that are connected by a beam. The second beat also has two eighth notes that need to be played, but the second eighth note is tied to the first eighth note of the next beat. Connect the two eighth notes of beat two with a beam, and you will tie the second eighth note to the first note of beat three. Beat three is two eighth notes tied together, but we don't tie notes within the same beat, and we will combine them into a single note value, a quarter note, which is tied to the last eighth note of beat two. Now let's see what this pattern of durations looks like in compound duple meter, six eight time. Now there are three eighth notes in each beat, and the dotted quarter note gets the beat. Bracket the eighth notes into groups of three, two groups in a measure. Use the same beaming and tying rules. The first two eighth notes of the first beat are tied, so we combine them into a quarter note. The last eighth note of the beat is left by itself. We cannot connect it to the quarter note with a beam, it would look like two eighth notes. This last eighth note is also tied to the first eighth note of beat two, where none of the eighth notes are tied together, so we show they are all part of the same beat with a beam. In the second measure, the first beat has three separate eighth notes, but again we show they belong to the same beat using a beam. The last beat has three eighth notes that are all tied together, so we combine them into a single note value, a dotted quarter note. These rhythms look different and sound different. Since the accents created by the beginning of the note durations line up differently against the metric accents, the rhythms are different. This is what I meant when I said that rhythm is a durational pattern superimposed on a metric pattern. Both patterns are needed to create what we call rhythm.